Hello learner. We have studied about the widely used methods of recruitment followed by companies. But in recent years, employers have shifted using their spending on job advertisements away from print ads to online job advertising or e-recruitment or a combination of the two. Online recruiting generally involves posting career information at company websites to address people who are interested in the particular company and posting paid advertisements at career services to attract people who are searching for jobs. One of the best features of this kind of electronic recruiting is the ability to target and attract job candidates whose values match the organization's values and whose skills match the job requirements. Candidates also appreciate an email response that the company has received the resume, especially a response that gives a timetable about further communications from the company. Smaller and less well-known organizations may get better results by going to the websites that are set up to attract job seekers, such as Monster, Yahoo, Hot Jobs, and Career Builder, which attract a vast array of applicants. At these sites, job seekers submit standardized resumes. Employers can search the site's database for resumes that include specified key terms. And they can also submit information about the job opportunities so that job seekers can search that information by key term. With both employers and job seekers submitting information to and conducting searches on them, these sites offer an efficient way to find matches between job seekers and job vacancies. Smaller, more tailored websites called niche boards are also developed which focus on certain industries, occupations or geographic areas. Along with inviting applications at websites and posting ads on job boards, today's recruiters often visit networking sites like Facebook and LinkedIn to find potential candidates with suitable interests and experience. The use of mobile or smartphone technology and online methods has also revolutionized the way companies recruit employees and job seekers search and apply for jobs. The world of recruiting via mobile technology is moving at lightning speed. More and more people are adopting mobile technology and many organizations are trying to figure out how to use mobile devices in the recruiting process. Recruiters use mobile apps to post jobs, run text message-based recruiting campaigns, create online communities for potential new hires to learn about their companies, monitor social networks for news about industries they hire for, and keep in touch with staff and outside agencies. These tasks previously had to be done from a desktop or laptop computer. According to a 2012 survey from Career X Roads, more than half, about 54% of staffing companies, are now providing or subsidizing their recruiters and hiring managers' mobile phones as an important business expense. In addition, nearly 4 in 5, that is 79% of recruiting companies are conducting mobile-related staffing practices to better connect with job seekers, prospects and candidates. The move to mobile recruiting has generated blogs, webinars, seminars, e-newsletters and online groups. Now let us see who is an internet recruiter. The internet recruiter also called a cyber recruiter, is a person whose primary responsibility is to use the internet in the recruitment process. Most companies currently post jobs on their corporate career website. Individuals must be in place to monitor and coordinate these activities. The more companies recruit on the internet, the greater the need for internet recruiters. The next term that we need to be familiar is Virtual Job Fair A virtual job fair is an online recruiting method engaged in by a single employer or group of employers to attract a large number of applicants. They are designed to be a first step in the recruitment process 
many recruiters have found that traditional job fairs where applicants and recruiters go to a physical location are ineffective. In addition to the time and expense of attending them in person, recruiters often find them wasteful because many people who stop by their booth do not possess the right skills. At virtual job fairs, recruiters pre-screen resumes, contact candidates who are a potential fit, and store email addresses. If applicants pass the initial screening, they typically must complete a questionnaire, take a behavioral test, and do a telephone interview before meeting a recruiter in person. Virtual fairs usually last about 5 hours. Though recruiters can receive resumes online for as long as a week after the event. In their virtual booth, recruiters often provide links to their online career site, obtain resumes from candidates, and interact with applicants in a live chat room. Now we shall learn about corporate career websites. Corporate career websites are job sites accessible from a company homepage that list the company positions available and provide a way for applicants to apply for specific jobs. They have become a major resource for both job seekers and companies seeking new employees. Writing effective recruitment ads on the internet is different from the short one-inch column ads in the Sunday newspaper. The internet provides enough space to fully describe the job location and company. It provides an opportunity to convert consumers into great employees. Hence we have seen that e-recruitment not only saves costs but also enables organizations to provide much more information to applicants which can easily be updated. There is more scope to present the employment proposition in terms that increase the attractiveness of the company as a place in which to work. Thank you.